Hello everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We just found out uh, that Yennefer was apparently passing through this village. So it's time for us to um, go to the garrison where she talked to someone to find out where she is and, you know, what her business was in the garrison and hopefully figure out what it was. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Been on the path for half a year now. Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun. Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Wow, I live a long time. See you later, Vesemir. All right, let's uh, try to go to the garrison and figure out where, um, or what is going on in general. Let's see if we can find some more information. Done drinking. Oh, really, you buddies? Mm -hmm. Pick a fight off. against me? Don't want your kind here. Uh, we were told to not cause any trouble. Yeah, let's do back off. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Our signs. Of course not. No, I, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Are they attacking me? Yes, they are. Ah, oh, damn. I hit pretty hard. Oh, how's, the, how's the fucking block working again? God damn it. Uh. Your game state will be automatically saved when you reach certain milestones in the story. So you should save your progress early and often on your own. Will the fullest predators, bloodthirsty beasts, bandits, and countless other dangers? So I would have known how the f. Um, I can't actually block. How do I do this? Control scheme. Combat. Parry counterattack. I pressed this button and still didn't do shit. All right. Anyhow. Lock and target is the right. Uh, I was pressing the left one. All right, I still have to get used to the mechanics here. And uh, can we loot that dude? No, we, we can't take anything from him. Wow, this is pretty ridiculous. I mean, they beat us up. We should at least be able to just take all their shit. Well, sleep tied in the hay. All right, let's see if we. Um, can't find it's Durban, any more right? hints. Alright. It's quite a quite a bit to actually reach the garrison. So let's uh call Roach. And just right there. <laughs> We're just right over the kid because you know. Who gives a crap? Bad Witcher, Bad Witcher. Am I still following it? No. So I think when you're when you're sprinting, the horse does no longer follow the road. Oh, it does. Just take some time to adjust for it. And we actually want to go to the right here. I like the little pathfinding um, on the map. It tells us exactly where to go. What is this? Oh shit! Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the kids said something about um, slower people with a red icon. And I think it just means let's we'll just go get it. 
So let's just um, first try to get to the garrison and not die right away. That would be nice. Uh, speaking of, let's actually save the game. Just in case we uh, actually get killed by the Wraith. Or actually we just want to go back and and try to fight the Wraith and see how it goes. Now uh, we, we might actually attempt that. Some troops patrolling. We have to go... Where is this garrison? Oh, it's up there. It's like on the hill. Guarded treasure. Oh, there are enemies? Uh, yeah. Off the horse, or um, you just lock on those dudes and and kill them that way. Yeah, it won't really lock on. Oh, yeah, now it's locked on. Not so fast, Roach. Yeah, so I was hoping that that thing would just attack me, but I think I just get off the horse and try to fight them. In one-on-one -on -one combat, let's see if I can lure any one of them out. Is this still okay? It's a still one. All right. I'll fight three of those. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll just go in there. Go away, go away, go away. <laughs> Crap. You wanted to run away, and um, then I just like didn't focus on the combat anymore and just died. And like, how realistic is it that a freaking sword um, puts the barrel on fire? I mean, really? What is in there? Like, kerosene that immediately burns as soon as you touch it? And yes, I'm. I'm in pretty bad shape, so let me eat more um, off the bread. And actually, I should be better equipped to just attack on the horse. Um, because I can just like run on at them um, and then run away. So let's do that. Try to do that. What now, you piece of filth? I'm not lock onto it. Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, goddammit. That was so easy. Oh, that word is the one that's really... That's a really bad one. Alright, let's get out of here. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, goddammit. Oh, did I survive? How the hell did I survive this? <laughs> and yeah, I still have to work on, on my battle skills. Holy shit, that was like more luck than than any skill that we didn't just die again here. There's a bunch of stuff we can take and... It's my horse. I'm back here. Why can I not call you? Alright, Roach. Let's keep going. I'll get up there. Alright. Oh my god, I'm basically dead. <laughs> A fly cannot kill me. That was really, really like, lucky for me. Um, what are you acting like? Move it! Alright, let's eat more potatoes. It'll make us healthy. And then let's go to the garrison, Whoa. and hopefully that guy. No, uh, he's go. part of the soldiers there, I guess. So Whoa. he should be on our side at least for now. And now let's let's see if we uh, can find someone to talk to. 
that will know where Yennefer is or where she went or at least what she was doing here. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. <laughs> to the oh. tower. Go. Alright, let's go in there. And see what he has to say, the commander. <laughs> Craftsmen. Craftsmen can craft a variety of items for you. For a small fee, of course. Blacksmiths forge weapons. Armorers make armor. If you find a crafting diagram, take it to the craftsman of the right type and skill level to have them craft the item for you. Oh, now, nah, well, let's take a look. Don't know any. So, out for a little walkie, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick-skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Mm, let me see what he got. Show me where you're peddling. So, I wonder what those stored things are. Oh, I cannot be sold. Yeah, I don't know what the story. Oh, those are new items I got. Let's see what he has. Uh, Amateur's Weapon Repair Kit. Amethyst Dust. Oh, nice. Um, swords. So we can buy um, different, better swords here. Um... Yeah, it looks like we can just upgrade our swords um, by just buying new ones or maybe improving them. Interesting, but right now, um, I'd like you to craft something for me. Let's see if we have anything to craft. Oh, um, we can just walk to the dude. It's basically like um, in Skyrim, there was the crafting benches and the anvils and stuff. You had to walk up to them to craft. I think here it's just you walk up to him and, and do the crafting there. You just tell him what to craft, basically. Alright, yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple interface. But we're not gonna craft anything right now. I don't think we really have anything to craft. So, how's Morel around camp? Morel holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble? Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? Ha. Huh. Alright. Let's end this conversation. Uh, so there's long. really... Nothing I want to buy right now, just because I don't know how much, how much money I have will your village give? and how much I need. Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look, see the calluses. These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and. You will give 30, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. Is he I fair? I the elder Ow. man of the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? 
There is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. Ah, so we might get kind of paid to slay the griffin um, anyway, but why does he care about Why do it? you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a battle. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No, too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. Well, I guess it's a deal. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Well, if like five of his men just got slaughtered, <laughs> he, he could have known that it's not going to be easy. Um, well, I guess we got to gather a specific herb, which he will tell me. Bait. A specific herb, buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck, buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. <laughs> Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. All right, we still could use more, Need more information. information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. All right. Tamira That's... and Mizlov. Thanks. Es soon the actor. All right, let's slay the griffin. If your current quest has more than one objective, you can choose which objectives. Track by pressing R. All right, um, which one's closer? How do we get to the map? World map. All right. Yeah, yeah, go away. All right, we are here, and do we see the... Okay, one is here, the Beast of the White Orchid. Orchid. So here's the Herbalist, and where's the Hunter? The Hunter is... Here? Oh yeah, all right, so let's go to uh, this one first. And then um, afterwards, check out uh, what the hunter can tell us, and then hopefully we can slay the griffin. Yeah, let's just get out of here. I'm uh, gonna take that cheese. That'd be amazing. No? Alright. Sigh. No cheese for me. Let's go down here. Back where we came from. And hopefully there are not more wolves on the road. Oh, we can fast travel. Um, yeah, let's try it out. Oh, there you go. Okay, where can we fast travel to? So we're at the garrison. And... 
I mean, we could go here. Yeah, let's just fast travel here for the sake of fast traveling. And then... Where's my horse? My horse is not with me now. Oh, God, really? Oh, well, I have to see where my horse is eventually. But for now, let's try to... Um, Ask a herbalist about Buckstone and where we can find it and uh, what to do with it. So the notice board is here. Somewhere. Oh, here. There you go. Let's take a look at the notice board. The new order. This Thursday, all peasants living nearby are invited to come and listen to Captain Peter Saar Vinle speak on the subject of law soon to be introduced to these lands. By a writ of our most gracious sovereignty, Emphir Var Emreis. Attendance is not obligatory, but every resident of White Orchid should partake of this opportunity to learn what rights they will enjoy and duties they will have under the new order. Good folk, you no longer live in a barbarous land where every man does as he sees fit. You're now part of the great empire of Nilfgaard. Nilfgaardian law now protects you yet it also ascribes your new obligations. Imperial forces have brought you the Torch of Enlightenment. Wrap hold of it, and your Dark Age shall soon give, oh, give way to a bright new era. All right. Is it only one um, uh, thing that, that I can read? Oh, no, so there, there are um, multiple ones. Death to invaders, North Guarding lessons, contract. Out to relieve the Imperial Garrison hereby announces that every week the village is poor. They come by to collect food rations. Brother missing. Bastion, my brother, went off to fight the Black Ones. I have reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day. Like many others, you'll say, he'll be in the rain. If he fell, and I know it's like he did, I'd give him up to the ground to least, like our fathers have done always. I'd bury him beneath the barrow where our parents lie, and leave his corpse to be ate by the corpses prowling on the battleground. Corpsers. So I seek a man brave, able with a sword, and willing to venture out with me to find Bastion. Won't pay much, for I have not much to give, but not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it a plenty. Man willing to help, look for a raised hut along the road, white to white orchid, just near the bridge. I've made camp there. All right, that sounds interesting. And there's a contract. Good folk. I know there's a war on every man's got trouble enough his own, but perhaps there's one of you who could help a father in need. You all surely know the well in the ruined village and the devil that guards it with a jealous fury. And if you don't know, well, come ask and I'll tell you about it. Whoever drives that monster away from the well will get a fat purse of gold. Just don't tarry, for it's an urgent matter. I'll take that one as well. Alright, um... So, I think on the world map, it should show us all those things we just uh, discovered. Oh, yes, go away. So, these things are... Okay, just undiscovered locations. I'm wondering if it shows us the, the quests we took on, um, or we just have to find them by ourselves yeah that might be the case so first let's just complete the mission we are on right now and then uh, see if we if we um, can do stuff from the notice boards um, and if either whether we have to find them or whether we actually have to um, like just uh, go to the map. There's a guarded treasure, so we already slayed the wolves there. Um, but it seems like we didn't take the treasure, so that's a little bit stupid. So we should go back and actually um, figure out what was lying there. And... Oh, my horse is back. Somewhere here. Come here, Roach. Let's get going. Alright, so yeah, I don't know if you have to fast travel with your horse um, in order for it to come along. 
or if um, it just takes some time to show up afterwards. I mean, it did show up, obviously, but the question is like, can I, does it, is it going to be with you when you um, fast travel yeah. with the horse? Now let's go to the herbalist Freak. dude. There was something here that was red. So I'm wondering if that is like an enemy. Like on the minimap, something just blinked red. Alright. The map is just going crazy. Like, where do we have to actually go? Oh, it's to our right. Straight to our right. Alright, let's, uh... Just uh, right across the open field. We don't always need to use the streets. Hey there. I think we're here at the herbalist's place. So let's see um, what he has to say. I just take some of his stuff. Bad time. So. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Yeah, what she has to say. Red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something something. Ah, oh, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. I doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Interesting. Yeah, her story seems very intriguing, so... Um, yes? Yeah, let's see. Um, maybe we can find out more about Griffin her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Um, can, can we try to help her? Let's see. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong... The whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Well, I'd say, you know, she's dying anywhere now. And, you know, if there's a chance for her to survive, we might as well um, give her the option to do that. Um, but what's your story? Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teaching was interest won far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Neneke refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word. Gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. 
I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Huh. It's kind of a sad story. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Yes, yeah, so the question is can we sell something to her that we do not need? Um, all this food actually regenerates stuff. Uh, like health. Um, we have murder petals that really don't sell for a lot of gold. The most expensive one is actually the Wolf Guardian Lemon, which is 11 gold. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, and we shall Hello. continue trying to... Oh, yeah, we can actually go to the deathbed and see what's up with her. But yeah, let's do that later. It was added to our uh, quest book, I, I think. And there are a bunch of uh, things we want to take a look later. Anyway, because we have a bunch of quests now. So, I might horse is like... You listening for me? Uh, I don't give a shit. Alright, on that note, let's end this episode. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope to see you next time.